Hey, it's Miss Anathea. How are you doing? You know, it's TGIF. Yeah, um, the weekend is here. Well, it's not quite here. We have Friday to go through. I don't know about you. I'm not feeling that motivated, but I wanted to come and say hello to you because I think that there's so much pressure to be perfect. There's so much pressure to say the right thing. There's so much pressure to even look pretty. Look at my hair, it's a mess. I'm going with the messy look today, okay? You know, our values, what do you value most? What's important to you? For me, what's most important are my relationships. For me, a big thing that's important is to be conscious of when I'm pointing fingers and really stepping back and seeing it from a broader perspective and not just my reality and not just my tunnel vision. So with that said, I think what helps me is when I get into my critical mind, which I can very much so, up in my head, little pa -pa -pa, that chatter, chatter, chatter. Chitta vritte is what it's called in, the, in yogic terms, that mind chatter, that monkey mind. I'm not good enough, they're not good enough, you know, um, that person's different than me, all of these things. You know where that difference stems from? is the disconnect that you're actually feeling inside. So today, I just, all I wanna say is where can you be more gentle with yourself? Where can you be kinder and sweeter on the inside? You know, where can you give yourself a break, pat yourself on the back, or just not listen to the craziness that your mind is saying. And where can you start paying attention to how that craziness in your mind actually creates separation between you and other people as well? So all I have to say today is be gentle on yourself. Really tune in and see where you can be kinder and what'll happen is you'll open to love. Now I wanna encourage you to click the link on my live and take the love quiz because that'll help you, that'll step you into this journey of opening to love because really that's all there is. And I don't have my love shirt on today, but I have a t-shirt from Inner Sense that says love in capital letters, period, with a period on it. And I, I love that period because that's all there is. That's all there is, is love, period. So if you want more love in your life, or you want to be a promoter of good, not just my way is good or the highway, and believe me, I've had that energy. And unbeknownst to me, I think I'm being a really sweet, kind person, right? Oh my God, we have so much to learn, all of us. Take the love quiz. Step in and choose love, choose gentleness, choose kindness, choose even vulnerability. Instead of shame or blame, notice when you're pointing your finger, well, when you're pointing your finger, guess what? There's three more pointing back at you. This blame us and them mentality isn't going to get you the love that you're looking for. And it really starts with that, that, that what you're saying inside. And if you, can, if you can start being warm and nurturing to yourself, that's where it starts. And those are my teachings. So you start inside and you'll affect outside. That's all we can do right now, more than ever. So I challenge you to take the love quiz. It's in the link in this video. And if you, if you want to help other people step into love, we need new leadership right now, more than ever. And I'm on the boat. I'm on the boat of love, period. 
I'm on the boat of love, period. I'm on the train of love, the love train, period. Oh, interesting. Yeah. Sabrina, awesome. Good morning, honey. Good to see you. I heard some someone said I don't I don't watch the news because I feel like it's just I'm not even I'm not even going to say anything, but I it, it's too hard on my heart. It doesn't help me to do the job that I need to do, which is help create a new paradigm, a new world by focusing, not sticking my head in the sand, but focusing on leading with love and helping others lead with love. So jump on the love train. Now, I, I did hear because I asked people what's going on latest in the news. That's how I get it from directly from people, not from the. Uh, the TV. Um, jump on the love train. Someone said something about love train, and I'm sure it was just a clip, and they twisted it around. You know, you could probably say what I here. Take one of my lives. If I was famous enough, you could take one of my lives, cut it out, something specific, and then publicize it as something negative. My heart is in the right place. I am a promoter of love. Period. <laughs> so jump on the love train. See where you, and it start within, see where you can be kinder and gentler with yourself, with the words that you speak inside you. Um, what, what, what is it? Um, you know, don't torture yourself with the things that you tell yourself. Be kind, be gentle. I think I've driven it home enough. I want to encourage you to come to my Leaders of Love group. This coming Wednesday, I'm going to be talking about the love and destiny cards. Yes, you, according to your birthday, you are a specific card. I am a queen of hearts. I am the queen of love. It's my job. My secondary card is the eight of diamonds, which I want to shine. So these are the things that I do. I want to shine with the vibration of love. And let me tell you, it's not easy. It's not, it's a challenging job and it takes a lot of courage to stay in a frequency of love over fear. Oh, I was going into, into fear, but not because of life situation, my own personal relationship situation. And my whole body got freaked out. I hadn't heard from my honeyman. He missed a call. And so I never got a call back. And finally we talked this morning, but it's interesting. That's how vulnerable relationships are. It can take just a little bit to get off kilter. And it, for me, at least, I can feel how vulnerable I am in relationship. And so I, I couldn't sleep last night. The chocolate didn't help either. But I, I coined a term while I'm sleeping called the monster body. You know, it's the body that is um, your whole body is overcome and you can't think straight because you're thinking too much and your whole body is uncomfortable. You can't fall asleep. It's not even about sleeping, but it's it's you're triggered. You're in a state of trigger, but you can feel it through your whole body. And so you're not able to function properly until you're able to make whatever situation that you're kind of um, freaked out about until you can bring that back into balance with connection with people that you love. Right. I call that the monster body. It's uh, Eckhart Tolle calls it the pain body. But last night laying in bed, all I did was I held my heart for a while and I breathed into my heart and then I held my belly and breathed into my belly. And I was just like, wow, you know, I, I felt I was able to really be there for me emotionally, but I could feel this monster body. I could feel this, this, this energy through my whole system from the top to the bottom that was not comfortable was not comfortable and there was nothing I could do about it other than just be there. So I don't know if you've ever experienced the monster body. The monster body is not there with me anymore. And all it, all it, all it required was a phone call and my honey man saying, Oh babe, <laughs> that's all it took. Cause I, you, we have to be vulnerable to get vulnerable. We have to open our heart to um, have others open their heart. So I don't know, there was something in the news, but I'm just going to say it again. Let's get on the love train or the love boat. How can you be a leader of love?
If you haven't taken the love quiz, please take the love quiz again. Let me know how I can make it better. Let me know how I can make it juicier for people so that they can really step into a place of love and release that monster body. Don't walk around with a monster body. You don't need to. It's Friday. Sun shining. Let's have a beautiful day. Namaste.